So you want to play something that's not Ice Shards in Diablo 4 for the Sorcerer? Well, I got you covered right here. Firewall is going to be our leveling guide 1 to 50 today for the Sorcerer in Diablo 4. And I can tell you, I'm actually really surprised at how powerful this build is and how mobile are you. So let's get into the abilities and everything you need to play the build. So going into our... Uh, skill tree here this build is going to be a leveling build 1 to 50 guys so keep that in mind and there's going to be some changes to why you don't see a basic attack on my skill bar so first and foremost we're going to go into arc lash into enhanced arc lash when you start leveling up in this process in the very beginning when you start you're going to go arc lash all the way into um flickering arc lash arc lash to give you some movement speed <clears throat> Next, we're going to come down to our core skills, and we need somewhere to put our mana, so we're going to put it into Fireball, into Greater Fireball, so it does even more damage with burning over time to the enemies, okay? Now, we're going to come down to our defensive skills, and we're going to take Teleport for Mobility to get around and give us some damage reduction. We're going to take three points into Elemental Attunement, as well as three points into Glass Cannon. Very, very strong. Then we're taking Ice Armor just into Enhanced Armor for the Mana Regeneration, as well as a Barrier. And then we're going to take frost nova with four points in the frost nova however you could just take this away and do uh mystical armor just to give some more vulnerability if you really wanted to or make them frozen but frost nova into mystical frost nova to make them vulnerable if you really needed more mana for this build then you can swap it over shimmering it's totally up to you based on what you need now we're going to come down to our conjuration skills and we're going to get hydra hydra is going to come down and give us summoned hydra so that way we also apply burning to all of our enemies okay now, once we get that, we're going to come down and we're going to grab uh, a line with the elements for damage reduction, as well as a max out and mana shield for damage reduction, as well as protection for cooldowns while we have a barrier. We should always have a barrier active no matter what. Then once we get our mastery skills unlocked, we're grabbing firewall and this and our summoned hydra are going to be our main damage dealers for the build. Once we unlock firewall, you're going to remove arc lash. You're no longer going to need it. You're not going to have to have it. You're going to be good. Now, if you want to keep it until you get your Inferno Ultimate, then that's fine. But once you get Inferno, you no longer need it. So we max out Firewall down into Wizard Firewall to gain Mana Regen as Firewall is active. We should always be popping two or three of these at a time. Then we're taking three points into Inner Flames for more uh, damage while we're healthy. And then three into Crippling Flames to uh, have a chance to immobilize the enemies, which is really, really fun. Then we're going to come down to our ultimate skills here. And of course, we're going to take Inferno. I actually don't have my extra points in Inferno. So two seconds. Boom, boom. Inferno all the way into Supreme Inferno. While Inferno is active, your power mancy skills cost no mana. And then Inferno repeatedly pulls enemies in. Super powerful to not only bring people in, but with a combination of Frost Nova, you make things explode. Then we're going to go Fiery Surge. So that way we get mana regeneration while everything is burning. One point into Endless Prior. We only took this for just a little bit more burning damage, but we took that to get to Warmth as a little bit more sustained. So while every second we heal for each nearby burning enemy, every enemy is going to be burning, so we're going to nonstop be healing. Then for our key passive, we are taking Shatter. You're going to ask, well, why Shatter? After Freeze expires, enemies explode for 25% of the damage you dealt to them. So how this works is we have Frost Nova... That's going to freeze them. If you guys don't want elemental attunement, you can. But this is really good to reset your cooldowns. Um, however, you could put more points into Frost Nova if you really needed to. So we're going to Frost Nova and freeze our enemies. Okay. And then once they explode and we kill them while they're frozen, they'll explode. Now, on top of that, we're going to go into our character abilities here. And we're going to go into our enchantments, which you guys are going to see. Our enchantment slots are going to be Fireball. So when we kill an enemy, they explode. So while they're frozen and we kill them, they're not only going to explode with shatter damage, but they're also going to explode dealing fireball damage. This is a huge just kaboom after you kill enemies. And then our next um, enchantment slot, once you get leveled up to 25, you're going to have firewall. There's a chance that each enemy that is burning is going to summon two firewalls underneath them for three seconds. Just adds even more burning damage, and it's just really, really fun. So... <clears throat> let's go over here i'm just going to showcase the build the rotation is pretty easy shield up while we're attacking teleport to get out you want to freeze them run up drop a hydra freeze them and then just hit firewall use your ultimate for the end game just burn him get this guy going right freeze them all pull them all in 
Make him explode. Done deal. Super, super fun build. No basics needed. And we finished the event just like that. Just as planned. The build is very, very fun. Okay, very, very fun. It's a super fun build if you don't want to run lightning or run um, uh, frost, which I know a lot of people don't want to do. So there's always that. But the build is really, really flavorful and fun, okay? There's a lot of really cool ways to increase your movement speed inside of, uh, you know, Firewall. But this build can take you all the way to the end game. We'll have a level 100 build guide for you. But this build absolutely slaps. Super, super fun. Super, super fun fit build. Very, very flavorful instead of having to do Frost or, I, or excuse me, or Chain Lightning, which I'm pretty sure everybody does. Uh, in the game right now, so it's really really cool to see uh, Have them do something else boom drop a ultimate make them all explode Super fun And we have so much mana regeneration between our shields and our burning damage. We never have to worry about a basic attack Or or core skill for that matter so guys, let's go into the gear and everything that you're going to need. So there's only a few pieces as you're leveling up that you're going to need. One of them is going to be disobedience to give you armor while you're dealing damage. This is really, really good while we're applying burning damage. We should always have this maxed. The next two that you really need for leveling up are going to be uh, the control aspect. So while we, we get more damage when we deal, uh, when en enemies are immobilized, stunned, or frozen. Well, they're always going to be frozen, and our burning has a chance to immobilize them, so we should always have a huge buff and damage here. And our next one is going to be Prodigy. This is very, very important. This is one that you can get using a cooldown restores mana. Okay, so cooldown, cooldown, cooldown. Don't I have the I have the legendary power that gives me two charges. Disregard that, but this has a cooldown. That just costs mana, and then that has a cooldown. So every time we pop four of our six skills, we're going to get back 22 mana, which just allows us to spam Firewall even more. Okay, so those are the only things that you really, really need for the build, guys. And that is it. That is going to be Firewall Sorcerer for leveling 1 to 50 in Diablo 4. I actually really find this build very, very flavorful. And the real cool thing about this build overall is that you don't need a particular codex that applies to any of the skills right so like ice shards for example you need the ice shards ability that makes you pierce to really have it be effective however you can still use it for it but i'm just you don't need anything in particular for this build so you can really customize any legendaries uh affixes that you actually need so guys like the video comment down below what do you guys think about firewall and what do you guys think about it in the end game because i know crip has already done a firewall all the way to 100 which is fantastic and uh, make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.